Uber taxi drivers of Reddit. What is the weirdest conversation you overheard your passengers having? Two Pikachu cosplayers planning to beat someone up. I'm gonna pike her duck his ass up. Bro. I drove a bus. But I think this still applies. Some girl was talking on the phone about a guy she was with and how he kept putting it in the wrong hole and she didn't know if he was lying to her about it being an accident. I told him. I only wanted an L. Two drunk dudes I picked up coming out of a San Antonio Spurs game. Nice enough guys. I even stopped and went through the Whataburger drive through for them. After the initial chit chat they settled in and started talking random stuff. Then they start talking about one of their bachelor parties which sounded like had happened pretty recently. Normal drunk bro type talk about the strippers and drinking and how their buddy brought way too much glow. Say what now? Then the story gets pretty graphic with the bachelor talking about blowing coke off the strippers and the strippers blowing coke off of him and then blowing him and then having a threesome. Then he starts talking about how he's been ducking the stripper on the side ever since the bachelor party but how after he gets married he's totally going to straighten up. I'm pretty sure they had totally forgotten that I was even there until I pulled up at their apartment to drop them off. Got a $20 tip and a chocolate milkshake from Whataburger. Lift line. Two girls one trying to convince the other to sleep with her single dad as a favor to her. He and the driver just looked at each other. Passenger. Not a driver. The best taxi ride I ever got was from a Sikh driver. From San Francisco to SFO airport, about a 15 minute ride. It was about 5. 00, zero in the morning. And the guy was an absolute scream, like a stand up comic, almost Robin Williams pace, funny observations on traffic. Flying. Families. I was with my wife and kids. Etc. I wish I'd been able to record it. I wondered at first if he was on drugs. But I don't think Sikhs do that. Best ride ever. Sounds like you had a Sikh ride. I had my first DP last night. The first time I ever used Juba. I was in street. Louis on vacation with my wife. We have never been there. And weren't really familiar with the city. Anyways. We are driving with this guy who I think was from the Middle East heading into downtown when we saw the arch. We both started talking about it. And were excited that we were so close. The Uber driver starts telling us facts on the arch. The arch was constructed in France and delivered here as a token of friendship in 1844. I look at my wife with a questioned look and he continues. A lot of people don't know that. That is why it faces exactly east towards the Statue of Liberty. Now we both know that this guy is completely full of shti. We let him continue because. Well it was fun. It's amazing that when it first came over here. The elevator was built inside of it and it was hand driven by 15 men at a time by using a pulley system. We still have no idea if this guy was ducking with us or if he actually believed what someone once told him. I'm glad Kurt Cobain committed suicide. It shows he's no phony and had the balls to do what he sung about. I wasn't the driver. But the passenger. I got in the taxi I ordered from the train station to my house. And there was a small carnival we drove past. The taxi driver and I had been chatting, the usual small talk. When he is working to etc and suddenly we passed this carnival and the guy started talking about how they were shutting the carnival down as two seven years olds had been kidnapped the day before and the police had no leads and how it's horrific to think that still happens and he doesn't even want to think of the poor girls got home and looked into it none of this happened nor had it ever in the town's history and in frustration you called the taxi company gave the driver's badge number and complained and got told the driver been dead for the last three months killed by a carnival clown well my pickup calls me and says her mom wants to meet me first before she'll let her daughter get in with a stranger so then i actually have to get out and introduce myself convince her i'm not going to our pay and murder her daughter after about two minutes of me turning on the charm it turns into an almost first date where you meet the girl's parents. The mom loved me. 
gave me a cheek kiss and sent us off. Then me and the daughter flirted all the way to the club she was getting dropped off at. She gave me a kiss on the cheek too. So that's it. Just a slightly strange. Wholesome. Fun encounter. I'm a public bus driver in a college town. I had a student shouting across the bus that everyone needs to get their nipples pierced because it will complete their life. Edit. I'd just like to clarify that it was a female student. Well that's not a conversation. That's a public service announcement. I was on my way to pick someone up when I get a text message from them saying I'll give you head for a free ride. It was a guy. I am also a guy. They cancelled shortly after. I was the Uber passenger and the driver scooped me and a friend up. We were riding and he said sorry guys I'm in a conference call and had a head price in. We were like no problem man and we just talked to ourselves but he will chime in and chat with us. Told the end of the ride he say sorry I have to chime into the meeting. Now I was thinking he would say some business stuff like 4th QTR projections are down or something. He say alright everyone we need to calm down this isn't the first time someone has killed themselves in our organization. It's a shame what happened to Frank but we need to get out in front of this and put our PR team on this I just looked at my friend like WTF and then the dude dripped us off. Are you and your friend ice cream? I remember a group of very young teenage girls talking about their hookups and boyfriends. They had to be barely 14 and they were talking about some really nasty stuff. I ubered a few times for extra money. I picked this girl up outside a frat house around 10.30 on a Friday. She got in the car. And said to me omg oh my savior I just had to get out of there. Soon after she gets a call and it goes like this. OMG yeah when he told me I freaked out and just had to leave. I mean. It's curable so it's fine but I have to tell. So and so. And. So and so. Girl talked about getting an STD on the phone while in my front seat. When I did Uber I overheard two girls talking about whether or not they were going to poke holes in their BF's condoms. I got pretty pee said. Buddy of mine drove Uber for a couple years. Good looking woman in a slim black dress. Seemed relatively normal on a Saturday night. After talking for a bit. She alludes in a not so subtle manner that she's an escort. She likes the music he plays. He's a nice guy. Makes her laugh. She ends up offering him a hundred bucks cash per ride if he is willing to be her exclusive pickup and drop off guy when she sees clients. Super tempting. Also pretty illegal. He almost said yes. But turned it down. Later he read the Denver PD has been actively tracking Uber Lyft drivers who've been making arrangements with pimps. Prostitutes. And drug dealers. Way easier to avoid suspicion when you're just the passenger. Edit. Mobile auto predict fix. I'm not a Uber driver. But one started to talk to me about mail order brides and what I thought about them. Turns out he married a mail order bride. What did you think about that? Not a driver but a passenger. My girlfriend and I were getting dropped off at Disney World and were having the usual small talk. The driver mentioned he was from Cuba and I said I'm part Cuban. That's where it all took off he proceeded to tell me all about his religion. I'm still not sure what it was. But my family is Catholic and I think he was somewhere in that ballpark. He said he was a sorcerer and showed off all his dragon rings and talked about the mystical powers of some saint. He said his ex-wife was a voodoo witch and did all kinds of weird shit and they had to get divorced. He played some kind of chant sounding thing from his phone but I don't speak Spanish so I didn't know what it was. Then he wished us a good time at Disney and we were on our way. Shared a cab ride with two women in their 20s. Was getting late. Wanted to get a cab home but was a bit pricey after midnight. Agreed with two strangers at wed split the cost. Their entire conversation for 30 minutes was yeah followed by yeah and they weren't even drunk or on any drugs I could smell or tell from their physical signs. They were Australian. Couple days ago I overheard a little kid asking his mom if he could come along with her to babysit and she replied no they don't trust you and he goes what? Comma. I've only accidentally killed a baby once I tried not to laugh. 
me and a friend play this game that whenever we get a taxi we have the most ridiculous conversations ever. In as serious a tone as possible. Favorites are comments like I know he's my brother. But he's also the father of my child. And if my mum can be in a committed relationship with him for years then so can I and I still don't think it counts as murder. He was really annoying. And it's not like anyone could ever find the body. Yesterday I was in an Uber. It started with normal small talk. It ended with me smelling a one stroke eight of an ounce of weed and finding a new dealer. Not the weirdest but caught me off guard. Definitely. Passenger. But my mom and I had a conversation about her job once that resulted in us telling the Uber guy about the time she hit a shark in the face with a bag full of fish. I think that's his answer to this question. I once picked up the owner of the company I was driving for along with a friend of theirs. Very late night. Very drunk. We stopped to get them some gyros for the ride home which was about a half an hour. The gyros were devoured in about 2 minutes which left plenty of time for the full on SX that went on for the rest of the ride home. The smell of gyros and lady on lady SX for 25 minutes was interesting. One time I went to pick up this guy and he said that I was moondog of all the stars in the Milky Way don't know what it means but I'll take the compliment. I'm not the driver but once me and a couple of friends were in a taxi after drinking pretty heavily and somehow we ended up having a full blown ducking argument over whether 9 stroke 11 was an inside job or not. Driver had to calm us down. Coming home from a party. Late and very drunk. I ordered an Uber for myself and my two brothers. I was in the front and my dearest bros in the back seat began discussing very intricate nature of each other's SX lives. I just watched the poor driver's eyes slowly widen and knuckles go white. But the time they got to lubricants this dude's eyeballs were about to pop out of his head. My house was first. And they kept going for another 10 minutes. That's how I lost my perfect 5 star rating. Uber. Drunk woman getting berated by her boyfriend for getting drunk with her friends on girls night out. Her phone wasn't on speaker but loud enough to hear wh re. SLT. Bitch ETC from boyfriend. Getting close to her destination. Boyfriend comes out like he's the perfect gentleman. Thank you for bringing her home safely blah blah what a douche. Kinda backward but one time an Uber driver, male, asked me, also male, if I'd ever seen the movie Deliverance while driving me to a fairly secluded wooded area. For those who don't know. Deliverance is a movie where some dudes go into the woods and one of them gets up head by some hillbillies. Not in a taxi per se. But I was walking past a bus stop once. And overheard one guy say to another. And that's when I realized my oven was trying to kill me. That's the only part of the conversation I heard. I wish I knew the story behind it. I had the opposite experience. Told the cab driver I was studying to become a chemist. He said he knew some guys who produced coke. And I could maybe get a job with them. I'm still 50 stroke 50 on whether he was serious. I was the passenger in this case. My boyfriend and I got picked up from the train station. When the lady asked where we came from we told the her about our trip. How I love Stephen King and my boyfriend planned out an awesome creepy trip for my birthday staying at the Stanley Hotel in room 217. We told her some of the creepy things we saw and things that happened. And the lady told us that the paranormal voodoo stuff is real. She used voodoo to kill her ex-husband. I didn't know what I got myself into. He was a bad guy. I don't regret it. But two weeks after I stabbed his doll I the heart he died from a heart attack. He was a perfectly healthy guy. I've never touched that stuff again. It was the perfect ending to a creepy trip. Picked up a lady of the night downtown Minneapolis at 3am. She gets in the car and is on her phone. I start the trip and see that she's going to Mankato, for those unfamiliar with MN. That's about an hour and a half southeast of the major metropolitan area. Ride starts out fairly normal as she isn't paying attention to me or what I'm doing. About 20 minutes and she starts raising her voice at the person on the other end of the call. From what I can gather it is her pimp. 
he is furious with her for not bailing another girl out of jail who got caught in a prostitution sting the night before. Really. He just wants to bring her back in the same Uber ride to Mankato because he didn't want to pay for two trips. Her response almost made me PSS my pants with laughter. That hoe didn't pay me back the bail money from last time. She said not taking payment for ducking my nephew was good enough. I was the passenger. But whatever. Got in an Uber and started chatting with the driver. It was the one year anniversary of his son's death and he didn't have anyone to talk to here. He was a single dad and immigrant. The whole conversation was just heartbreaking. I took his number and we chatted a bit after. Ducking sucked. I'm saving this post for later. I can't believe only 8 comments so far. Come back there's more. What SLTTY thing should we dress as for Halloween? We could do a history theme. You could be Babe Bram Lincoln and I could be Hosa Parks. This had me smiling. I was the passenger. My driver basically word vomited all his conspiracy theories in an 8 minute ride. Told me Barack Obama's real name is Barry Sotoro and he's a time traveler. When I asked how he knows this, he replied, It's all there. On YouTube and I should google the name Andrew Bejiago. I was not disappointed. As passenger. In cab to lax. Driver was from Russia. This was 2011. Basically took me through how Putin was responsible for everything going on in the world. At the end of the ride. He goes. And don't forget. Putin. It was hilarious. But he was dead serious. Did you tell your mom to add me as a beneficiary to her Halloween decorations when she dies? Yeah. She changed it last week. OMG it's gonna happen like. So soon. What the duck did I just hear? Late to the party so high new. I am a limousine chauffeur. Weirdest statement I've overheard is I'm offended you're not hard. Oh the joys of the industry. Lift driver here. Picked up a stripper who was high in acid. We didn't talk much but she asked to play music and we proceeded to rave to house music for a 15 minute ride. She tipped me $15 cause she said she was feeling my energy. One guy sold me coke. I'm not a driver myself. But once using Uber pool, you know what it is, coming back from a late shift at work. I was in the front seat. By the driver. And there were two guys in the back seat. I heard these two guys in the back seats talking about a theft they made in the day before. I tried to keep my cool. I noticed the driver heard that too so he had that odd look in his face. Those guys destination was before mine. They landed. Thank the driver and everything. Said goodnight to me and all that. After I got home. I thought okay those guys were ducking with us. Talked about it on purpose but. I never knew so. I'm not an Uber driver. But my friends and I have always done this when we're on the way to a bar and we're sitting in the back of an Uber. We all pile in. One by one. And my friend fires up this hilarious narrative where he talks about his adventures with the girl from last night. He uses insane detail about how things start getting pretty serious and. After one thing leads to another. She ends up taking a massive shti on his chest and then proceeds to eat it off of him. It's hilarious to watch the expressions of the Uber drivers when he tells them this story. Most of the time they start cracking up in disbelief. Hell. We've even established a reputation with a few drivers in our city. We'll get in the car and they'll go. Hey. You're the shti guys. Took an Uber from San Jose to San Francisco. For those of you that don't know. That's about an hour drive. 20 minutes into the ride. The Uber driver takes a call from her life coach to talk about how she wanted to have a polygamous with her fiancé but he wasn't into it. My friends and I sat in silence as we listened to this girl talk about how she wanted to duck another dude for 20 minutes. And how it was her husband's fault for her not reaching her full potential shti was awkward man. I'm sure one taxi driver had a blast hearing about the range of nudes an acquaintance of mine had on his phone and was showing everyone except the driver. 
Some driver probably heard me tell my partner how I was going to destroy her asshole when we got home. 